Say, hold up. Hold up. Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, uh, yo. This is the what's ITC the Podcast, man, episode 47. We are uh, back. What are you still back? In the building. Like we never left. It's never left. Never left, man. Never yeah, left, chilling man. and vibing, relaxing, mm-hmm. uh, cool, enjoying man. ourselves. Max. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Out. Shooting in the cut. Ball outside yeah. of school. A couple of guys. A couple of guys. They was up to no <laughs> good. You know? Boom, boom, boom. Hey! Like, started making trouble in my neighborhood. Hey. Um, Straight up. I got, got one, one little fight. fight. My mom. Got she scared. got scared. Yeah. Auntie and uncle in Bel Air. You feel me? <laughs> What's going on, people? Uh, how y'all been doing, man? How's y'all week been? Great. Oh, pretty Can't good, complain. man. Yeah. I've been uh, a busy man. Yeah. Same That's as you. Good. Good. Been doing a lot of work and stuff like that. Whole lot of videography. I'm, I'm loving what's it, up, man. Finally yeah. linking up with Kenzel. Hey, we had a whole conversation on the phone. I, I explained to him everything well, I had a problem a with, everything man. I was cool with, and I was like, "Yeah, we got to make something work." Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, Kenzo's a creative like that. It's crazy. Yeah, we had conversations too. So, yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be dope. It's nice, gonna be a dope nice. summer. Mm-hmm. And uh, yes, sir. I can't drop too much, but yeah, it's gonna be lit. Gotta be cool. um, Definitely gonna be lit, man. How about yourself, man? Oh, we good, man. We've been getting a good week. Uh, we are currently still in Houston, uh, battling. You know, we feel like Noah's Ark is coming, you know. <laughs> so um, Off and on, right? Yeah, yeah if we you don't see this upload, you kind of know why, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. on that boat. We my man, man, my manager at um one of my dealerships I work at, he was like, he was like, so I'm new to Houston. I just moved here like Ooh, last so sorry. year. Ooh, and he was like, does it always rain like this? And I was like, <laughs> see, see. I do the day it, It's, it's going to be a drought. And then it'll be a drought half a day, mm-hmm. and then it'll rain half that day. Then it'll stop, and then it'll be humid as hell. Then yep. it'll just rain out of nowhere for like a week straight. Yep. And then, you, then you know, you got the Noah's Ark thing going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's like, bro, there's some serious rain. You can't, yeah. you can't, nah, you can't just know, guess. regardless, it's always going to be hot. Always so, bring yeah. something with you, yep. multiple different types of just clothing. Exactly. Because you never know, especially <laughs> spring. <laughs> spring is spring is technically spring winter, summer, spring, and fall. Exactly. Facts, bro. Because <laughs> this spring, it was like cold as hell some days. Rain. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I remember we were recording, recording some nights Ross was leaving and just like it was freezing. Like, mm-hmm. What the hell is yep. going on here? It's that's yep. that uh, traditional Houston weather yep. we've grown to uh, know and expect, bro, to exactly. have just multiple different items in your car for God. Like, when oh, y'all hot? think y'all finna go out? <laughs> See, and that's why we don't know what global warming is because it's always been global yeah. warming for yeah. us. <laughs> Fact, yeah, we we used to this humid humidity, <laughs> but hey, I would I would take this rain in like other places like. Uh, Arizona, where it'd be like 116, yeah, and dry, and, and dry all that's, around. That yeah. type of heat, that's that. Nah, I'm good. Well, you can't sweat exactly. Yeah, bro. <laughs> to be honest, I prefer it's, dry heat. I don't know, yeah. bro. I don't know. That I humid know, heat, like it's. I mean, I'm used to this, uh, but if I'm in dry heat, like I'm straight. Like I'm, I can't do it, bro. I'm fine. I, I I wouldn't know. I don't. I haven't been to Arizona. Yeah. yeah. Well, now we know why Martin's alleged son. Did I wouldn't want to move to Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. yeah. That, I just didn't want to go back to Arizona. <laughs> Man, I, Bro, that scene will sorry, forever be. Sorry, to you, Martin. <laughs> Yo, them them iconic TV shows I love because you can yep. tell in parts where they were laughing. Like mm-hmm. they would they would try to do their best not to laugh, mm-hmm. but they'd be biting their lip or they'd look away. Bro. And I love the fact that they left those parts in there because yeah, it's like, exactly. it's authentic. Yeah, authentic. yeah, bro, you can tell they was having the, a good bro, time. I can't you know, the you New know. Jack City authentic. scene, you saw Tommy break character Bro, he time. did. And like, you know, you can't be mad at him. the fact like, that Martin stayed in character when he was mm-hmm. walking that damn dog around the table, I just, that shit. <laughs> I wish I was there, you know what yep, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yo, they, they had a good time, but. Rest in peace, Tommy. But yeah, so what are we getting into, man? Well, yeah, uh, we got to talk about this. I know we we got some things lined up in the work. Ah, we don't want to yeah, spoil it yeah. yet. We but say too much. We, we have to talk about this. Uh, the Lakers being knocked out in oh, the first Oop. round. Oh. Yeah, wow. they got knocked out yeah. in the first round, man. Uh, it happens to the best of us, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. this is LeBron's first time ever being eliminated in the first yeah. round. Uh, father time. Yeah, father time. And the fact that first time for his, mm-hmm. his teammates yeah. didn't do Them anything. Them boys did. That's what got him up. He did. I'm going to be honest with you. And, and this is one of the things where people got to understand basketball is a team sport, bro. Facts. Mm-hmm. You could drop 
50, 60 yeah. points. But if yo, the rest of your teammates don't do nothing or Damian contribute, Lillard. it don't I don't got it today, fam. Shout out to Dame. Yeah. Shout out to Dame. Yeah. Dame, Dame to facts. Dame. Coming to Houston, man. Dame has Please. some dog. When he Please. did that that overtime shot, that bro, man I was looking at the replay, yeah. and then he came back to do it again for double overtime, and it's like the way he did it. Like he just bro. did a little boom, boom, bro. Fl- spin Shh. around half. And then just shot. I'm just like, dang. What they have the a whole uh, clip of Austin Rivers. <laughs> yeah, he was saying like, thank he was you like, God when he was oh missing. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> he was happy as hell because he's seen it before. Yeah, yeah. here, yeah, of course. <laughs> we, we, we we can't talk. Yeah, about so we can't talk it's, about it's, that. it's it's that's one the, of those. That's the incident we cannot name. Yeah, ever. Bro. I'll yeah. never forget that they made him a meme because everyone jumped on the floor and he With just the, yeah he just bro <laughs> you gotta be a cold you gotta be a cold motherfucker to not. Like the Make fact that no expression. Like, I know where I was. Yeah, I know I was at yeah. the very to the T. Bro, that what hurt I was my doing. heart. Yeah. Anywho, we're gonna make past that. But uh, it's, yep. it's it's one so of Lakers. those things. Yeah, man. Uh, I wish I was a Lakers fly in a locker room yeah, after they lost. I wonder what happened in that locker room, man. What what RDC world? Did? Yeah, exactly. What RDC I feel what happened. Like exactly what happened. That's shout why out to RDC world, yeah, man. Shout they out to real, real, man. hilarious. That's why they be laughing so hard at these videos because they know it's a lot of truth in. It's like you can't say it, but other people can say it for you. Oh, right? yeah. And so, then AD getting hurt, and he, he tried. Yeah, I, I, he, I give him credit, bro, but when you got a groin injury, bro, it's 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 only it's not much you can do, especially yeah. when you're trying to play defense, they say run, AD, up, AD, run up and down the court. Play like, basketball in AD middle. get yeah. hurt. Sh- AD get stretching. hurt more than Mary J. Blige. Yeah, I saw Come that. Come on, Yo, bro. And I was it, like, that's, the internet just, that sucked. Like, like Twitter, that, y'all need it. There you go. The internet don't give yeah. a damn, bro. I don't and give a damn what it is. Yeah. Hey, man, look. At the end of the day, bro, it's it it does switch things up. It does spice these things up. We'll see. Yeah, man. What uh, new faces? Yeah, new faces in the finals. New teams. Uh, I'll Outside be honest of, with you. Outside of Durant, man. I don't know, yeah. man. It it looks like. Don't say for it. me. Don't say for it. me personally. I, don't you? Don't I, you I say think it? They may win it, bro. Don't you know who you, I'm talking don't about. Don't say it though. The automatics. The automatics. That's what we gonna call them. But Brooklyn. if they lose, what if they lose? What does that say about them? You know I'm what? The laugh. Laugh. Like who? Memory. Does that team immediately just disperse? Or well, meme, they can't because nah. of the contract. But memory. Oh no, the memes will. <laughs> oh, the memes. They will like release your I need that. I don't even use that term. I like nah, that memory. I, I needs that. But it like it makes you think of like okay, LeBron losing. And what if you know? I, is this is this is this like the new type of <clears throat> new era of like that's not the, no, it's, I'm it's the like it's the changing of the guard, it's just the bro. Changing of the because yeah. Curry's not in it no more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, LeBron he got eliminated in the first round. Yeah. The only people that's really in that still era would be Brooklyn. Exactly. So like they if they don't make it, that would be great. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Did you just fist bump over there? If if Brooklyn, Whoa. she want who to win? Who you, you want, want to win? win? Brooklyn? No, I want Oh, that's fair. Okay, no. that's fair, but I mean, I it's fair, but no. <laughs> I'm still somewhat mad at I mean, Harden still. A, so I don't, Oh, I definitely am. Yeah, I don't want no Harden. Hiding. No, I'm sorry. You There's ain't no getting no ring. I'll be damned. I if Harden gets personally. But personally, mm-hmm. I don't want Harden to have left and then go and get a ring Same. the first year okay. because I'm going to feel like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boys, I'm gonna feel dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna feel what Graylin felt. That's why, when, yeah. When Durant went to the Warriors, that's still yeah. that. Oh man, and yeah. that and that's the only. It's not that I don't. I, it's it's yeah, not that I don't is. want them to be successful. I brought this ch- chip to the real fans, bro. That's what's going. I like, might cut his hair, hair off. It's, and you know, he's to the clubs. You know, come on back home, bro. Let's celebrate, bro. Come on, no. Didn't like, he like shit on his restaurant on like reviews mm-hmm. and stuff? His. Well, people, I know people were giving like bad reviews just just out of spite because of just the how it's a breakup, he, man. You he know. left Houston. See, they said it was nice. They said it was nice. Nah, they they did them they did them for, like at the beginning they tried <laughs> to do it, but it was a lot of people overwhelmed because the restaurant was solid. So yeah, it was one of those you can't even dog it. Formal, you go in, but, it's nice. but um, yeah. you travel when you get in there. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. As, as far as Harden goes, <laughs> shoot, I'm I was more more uh, more so upset about the way he. Broke up with us, I guess yeah, you could say. Yeah, and like, through a text. I think he deserves mm-hmm. a ring. No, of course, but I, I don't yeah. want him to get that. I, I agree. Yeah. I'm not, not this Harden. year. Harden, Harden was balling. He was, you know, he was doing his thing out yeah. here. He's, I ain't sure. gonna never act like he wasn't doing mm-hmm. his thing. He yeah. was I just don't like. It. Yeah, like, like, many bro, times we, he just, we helped you get that stardom though. Yeah, so you can't just end it with us like we just 
shitted on you for these yeah. past few years. We've been taking care of you. Niggas been showing you love. Mm-hmm. Boys open it. He damn near got a key to the damn city. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know how Houston give keys out. Exactly. You they get, a key. You get a, key. Get a key. Everybody get a key. Niggas can come out here and do a concert and get a key to the city. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 you from out of space? Oh, you get a date, sir. Like, <laughs> you from Houston out of space. Is, yeah. Speaking of Houston, though, I just really want to ask y'all this question real quick. We can either get back on topic or we can go and die from here. How do y'all feel about the band still with Trade the Truth? That shit is I, I don't stupid. understand how he's still banned. That's still a thing? He's done it's so much for this city, bro. Like, especially the past few years with the, um, the, uh, the relief man, gang. Relief gang. All, yeah. You know, just Trey his contributions, Day. bro. Like, man, he's, Trey Day, exactly. He exemplifies Houston. He's yes. basically. I don't know what the embodiment of Billboard the award is. I think they him, just man. deserve yeah. it. Yeah. I to just give think people some context. Yeah. So, yeah. people who don't know uh, who Trey the Truth is, he's right. a local Houston rapper. Mm-hmm. And apparently, there was some situation that happened. Uh, with years ago, somebody had ninety-seven like nine the box. Yeah. Well, he had an issue with Nate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. think he called a. Uh, he called out her name or something like that, yeah. or cursed out or something happened mm-hmm. like that. Um, he had a shootout at one of his events, and from then it's like they they tried to make it seem like he brought he created it. Yeah, yeah. it was just a lot of things spiraling yeah. around it. Um, those things, whichever order they went in, um, all I know is nothing was really to the point to where he should have been banned. Yeah, he's you know I think that's a personal station. thing, and not only does she not work there anymore, exactly. but they still banned him. And it's like, man, you see this dude? How do you not report on what he's doing though? Like yeah, he's I out here and exactly. all these during Harvey, like exactly. everything from there and even before, like mm-hmm. he out here really helping the people. I'm How like, do you, you not gonna, report on that? You gonna talk about the city and you gonna ignore that? that exactly. Make sense. Yeah. Exactly. It doesn't make sense. It just yeah. just lets you know that they petty. But I just wanted to bring that up because hella petty. Shout out to him for winning the Billboard yeah, Awards. For real. Big facts. Um, because uh, he, you know, he been really putting the work out there. Mm-hmm. And he's doing more action. He's not just talking. He actually doing what right. it is that you know. And again, it's not for everybody. Not everybody got to get out there and support that way. Some people do their thing and donate in different ways. Mm-hmm. But um, I do like the fact that him, DJ Mr. Rogers. And everybody be on shout the front line. Rogers, real, man. Shout out to y'all, bro. That's that's real lit. For sure, for sure, man. So, oh, shout out to my barber, uh, B&B Studios, uh, oh, who owns the barbershop. He heard the podcast. Hey. hey. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Shout out to Barbershop shout out to Talk. Mm-hmm. So uh, oh, shout out to the homie Chuck at B&B mm-hmm. Studios. Make sure if y'all want to cut, y'all go check him out on Al Media and Cut it. Yeah. All right, that's a promo right there. That's a good yeah. promo. Ad. Yes, sir. All right, so Put love money. Uh, you actually posted this in the group who, chat, me? man. Yes, you. Bro. You or you, 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 you I'm or you, you. Anywho, you put this in the I'm group chat. I'm demo. not sure Can't wait if for the new this season is you. Uh, <laughs> if this person was seriously, but apparently someone posted. Uh, I guess it's on Twitter. Due to it being Pride 2021, I felt safe to come out. Today is the day I am transracial. Hmm. I am now black, a black woman. I have successfully went white to black. I am able to say the N word. Why is that the first <laughs> thing that pops in your head when you I'm quote unquote trans- transracial? I mean, that's, the first, that's the first thing. Joke. Okay, that's the first thing. Be you a do. Joke, but what's, what's the first thing you do in any other race? What's the first thing you do if you're white? The stuff that you can't do. Facts. <laughs> what's Facts. the first thing you do? Like, I'm going to speed in okay, front of a cop. No. I'm oh no, this no. I'm gonna purchase the biggest truck ever and like the biggest American flag. Have it in the back of the truck with like a bullshit caption. Yeah, and we're not going to take it. (laughs) I have everything going good for myself, but yet want with the gunshot. Yet yet I'm still mad for some reason. So let me stand by and be ready. You know what I'm gonna do? Yeah. Like that's all going to. I'm gonna check my credit score. Mm. All right, <laughs> that will instantly I go mean, up. It, it's because. the same as like asking, what would you do if you Pretty. became a, a, a female or something for a day or something? Mm. Uh, if I became a female for a day, what mm. would I? What would be the first thing I do? Um, <laughs> Brandon, really thinking? <laughs> yeah, I really am. So I don't want to do nothing they do. Um, <laughs> you got to think what a woman could do. What can a woman? You get free shots. I was about something like this. Go Bam. turn up. Hey. <laughs> Go turn up. See, you get lit. He no. been waiting on that. Right. Right. He been waiting. Yeah. Damn, I wish I was them. <laughs> get free shots. That's free. <laughs> Who good? Give me a little Jason. You, you ain't got to put no work in. Yeah. About to be lit tonight. <laughs> you ain't got to put in no work. <laughs> That's yep. it, bro. Sing a couple yeah, mega damn. songs. You good. <laughs> Twerk. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that would have cut here. A whole lot of shots of you. <laughs> Wait, yeah. I am a girl. <laughs> I gotta do something for these drinks. Right. <laughs> Damn, bro, you oh, think it's too deep now, bro? You <laughs> start getting in the trenches. 
he been thinking about this for a while. I have not been thinking about this actually at all. Feel like? I'm coming out. <laughs> Definitely not. I wonder what it feel like. Nah. <laughs> Definitely not. Damn, it's man. Pride month, I don't know damn. what would I do if, if I was, we got if an I was any, a girl. Not an Audi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I what I would do. Okay, Uh-oh. me being a sneakerhead, I have more more of a like a fair chance of getting like like women's exclusive Jordans, you know, because they're a little bit more. They're less expensive. This man went straight to the shoe. Yeah, that's yeah, really on. Like, that's why like, it's so funny. Like. He, yeah, that sounds about right. Mm. But yeah, man. Yeah. Even though I think this is a joke, at some much. point I do think people are gonna try to identify they, they are, themselves I believe it. as another race. Yeah. I got a question though. Mm-hmm. Let's be. Why is that? Why is that weird? It's weird because that's how it. It's a snowball effect. Yeah. When people start trying to identify themselves as something, and then when you say no, clearly you're this. Then it's like, well, how can you tell me I identify as black? What are you talking about, cuz? I've already looked at, you know what I'm saying? Your paperwork don't even say you Ain't are. Ain't that like the NWACP lady? Yeah. Is you know she what I'm saying? Right, Rachel Dozel? Dozel? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's, 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 not? it's. But I mean, you got to think, though. Like, not, I mean, let's just be real. Mm-hmm. Like, all of this stuff is, we're, we're even DNA based. Like we're now playing into the world of what other people say they they identify as. Mm-hmm. Now what you actually are. That's like yeah. dogs saying I'm a cat. Yeah. Or my yes. dog is a cat. Like now I gotta be like, oh, this this is a nice dog cat cat dog dog yeah. cat. cat dog. Now now like cat with my dog. whole with my whole way <laughs> of learning and mm-hmm. like my knowledge now you're testing it. Now it's like you're pretty much testing the water against anything yep. known and natural. You might as well question factual. everything. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but when we start getting in that pool, it's because like because you're not wearing red shoes. It gets right dangerous. Now, you're actually wearing blue shoes. God and DNA who, gonna kick who, your asses. Who like, who said the colors are what the colors are? Exactly. So it's like your shirt is blue. Exactly. Don't tell me. Why does it have to identify as blue? <laughs> he said, like, but I'm just saying, like, it's not even to be funny, but that's real talk, bro. Right? That, no, honestly, once you open that nah, door, real, towards that, that's just the most common yeah, thing right now, nah, bro. Fact. Now you got the people that are pedophiles saying that they feel like they are kids yeah that want to and that's what have those. certain individuals they're vouching for them i'm like that's you the, are sick they have like, whole pages of it now like mm-hmm. at this point yeah love like, is love and stuff i've seen all it's this crazy uh, yeah. guns is guns exactly. well, <laughs> like what you mean <laughs> guns is guns yeah. guns is guns well sir Shock you need shot. help <laughs> so yeah no nah, but that's that's the that's the door we open yeah. when we don't look at because i remember again i use this reference all the time but when i used to watch ripley's believe it or not there was a guy on there that thought he was a tiger. And he, I remember that. he got all the little. Yeah, he yeah, transformed yeah. the space. Transform, yeah. And then it was on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Why? Because they could use a real live human. Yeah, he started you go in the jungle, you crawl your yeah. ass around there with all the other little and tigers. He crawled, he grew his nails out, he did everything. And we looked at it as crazy because it's like, yo, yeah. it, but you're not a it's tiger. The mental. But yep. This brings his me back. mind. This brings me back to that My Weird Addiction show because it was mm-hmm. this guy who thought he was a doll. He, he wanted to be a doll, basically. So like he did a bunch of plastic surgeries to his face to make it was creepy. He did it to like his 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 stomach and everything. So he had a flat stomach, but he turned them into abs, and it was. That's, <laughs> so he wanted to be a Ken. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I saw Ken, and I never wanted. To it was yeah. creepy. Else. That's that's a little that's a little too far. It all started playing. at the age of five. I was in Toys R Us and. I seen Ken. I seen Ken, and I knew I wanted to be. That's that, actually yeah. how the story sounds. That's that's a damn shame. Box. I was just playing, and this has. I know. Wow. The f- I know it's not funny because there's right, obviously funny. something going on mentally. Right. But yeah, it's all, it starts. There me. was this one person, dog. I'll never forget this, bro. My man's was in a relationship with his car. I've seen yeah, that, bro. That. When bro. I say it is the greatest gotta thing be scripted, on television, bro. bro. He's My man the is motor. over here like the robot chicken yeah. robot. laying <laughs> under the car. <laughs> Yep. Laying under the car, kissing it so sensually. <laughs> Just like, bro, like, I'm like, I'm, dog, wait. It's real. What's you, happening here, bro? How do you have sex didn't with a people, car? Didn't people. Hey, I seen a dude like, with a balloon. Have you seen a gas He tank? has a balloon guess, addiction. Yeah. Like, he has a balloon love. Like, balloon. So he, like, was. The lady was asking him what he does with the balloons that makes him so aroused or whatever. Had you asked. And he was like, I can show well, you. Well, that's more that's more private. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, the- Sorry, get the hell out of oh, my yeah. store. <laughs> yep. It'd be funny if he'd be like, got any helium? <laughs> Just being that hole. All you hear is balloons yep. just squeaking around. And you hear, oh, <laughs> and then one pops. Oh! 
<laughs> you're finished. Oh. Oh. Well, you're bad. You're, you're bad. bad. <laughs> I'm about to blow you back up oh again. Oh, my God. So I have to it's pop round, you. It's but. round two time. Yep. It's round two. But that's, that's all you hear. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, sir, <laughs> you're, sir, you're an animal. <laughs> but no, that's, I, I mean, but honestly, that's the type of stuff. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah. O- we're open. We've opened the door. Yeah. The door yeah. has kicked the, the hell out. The gates. Because yep. nowadays, when I, I was doing something, and it was asking me uh, my gender. And then it's like, you can choose male, female. What you want to identify as, or you can just not answer, and then you can type it in. <laughs> just a I'm blank like, slate. Well, God, <laughs> create a character. Yeah. That's how you know stuff changes. But right? we over. It's just it's, it's human nature, bro. We yeah. gotta. We want to overcomplicate things because we're bored now. Right. So right. now it's like now we have to continue. We want to move. We've moved so fast for our own good. So now we we're we're getting bored. We're now, innovating stuff that doesn't need to be innovated. That doesn't exactly. need to be innovated. So I don't. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so really shout out, out to. <laughs> I guess the transracial people now. That's a, oh, this going to be a thing. Best yeah. believe this is. It well, may be a joke now, it. but it's going to be a thing. Someone's going to identify hey, as another race. The door's open. You can't tell them. And you know what? That that I'm actually interested in that because I want to hear mm-hmm. the, the transgender people get mad and explain why this doesn't make sense. Yeah, I want to hear yeah, yeah. transgender say. Oh, I, I just want to hear the argument because I'm like, that hey, would be what, interesting. What makes them not? <laughs> What they if feel like they're white or black, they they are. Hey, what can I? I can't. I do not I judge do. them. See, you're the problem with society. You're judging <laughs> this person that clearly wants to be something. I'm just obviously, saying, like if, if that's the bag, are the, if that's the bag we gonna yeah, be in, like exactly. Let I, every I, let it fly. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a fly. dog in this fight, so it's yeah, like, I don't. Yeah, just do it, do what you I'm do, 65. man. I'm 65. I should be able to collect my retirement right now. Do what you feel. So, yeah. I'm trying to age. Yep, exactly. I'm yeah, straight up. Give I'm, me my retirement I'm, now. I'm really. older than what I look. Shit. I'm a super genetics. I'm a super saying. You actually Chill. owe me forty checks. Yeah. Yeah. Facts, yeah. bro. I feel older. But Facts, that, right. man. <laughs> that's all seriousness. So see, oh no, no, see, that's what's gonna stop them. If you trans age or whatever. I'm sixty five. Oh no, 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 hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Hold on, quick, <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. Cut yeah. all this shit out. Yeah. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> that means, see, we gotta stop trans and everything. You ain't gonna get my your money uh He say stop transing it. Yeah, exactly. That's it's all about the dollar bill. Had your money yet? We spent it, yep. in, you know. Mm-hmm. But hopefully, we got it when you're really 65. Shit. All right, so yep. if it ain't 80 by the time oh, you gotta get to it, true. Yeah. All right, so uh, saw this last night on Baller Alert. Had to post this because I thought this was real crazy. Posted it in our group chat. My sister's keeper, bride drops dead at her wedding, the name. sister steps oh. in to marry her groom. Basically, uh, it was an Indian bribe name. I'm not even going to try. Rest Sir in peace B. to the uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, what happened? Yeah, rest in is peace. this was going down in India? But, like, uh, yeah, heart she yeah, suffered I, a sudden yeah, heart attack yeah, during yeah. her big day. Sad, um, moments after ex- exchanging <laughs> garlands with her husband to be a doctor from the nearby village, responded to the scene, Damn, but was crazy. unable to save her. Determined, uh, determined to carry on with the festivities. Her sister, Nisha, decided to Dog marry. It. It's them Nisha. Marry Look. instead. The family <laughs> kept her kept her body like in a separate room while the That's ceremony crazy, man. took place. And she was later created I wanna, cremated. I wanna say it was the parents, the daughter the the daughter's parents that that told uh, the sister yep. to marry him. And the the Wait. sister had no idea like You said the daughter's parents? Yeah, like the the woman oh, that was the, getting married. The, yeah, yeah. That's her, how, her parents. So her, her parents. Too. Yeah, yeah. They her parents. That's how you know. It was so arranged, it wasn't even sure. the sister's decision. Like, yeah, so they was arranged, and they it was, was it was already arranged marriage to begin. That was with. like right. Yeah, it was like substitute jitsu. Real Get quick. up there, look, baby. Damn. We we come all this way. We Go paid all there. this money. Damn. Look, oh, is, somebody getting married. That is sad and very nah, that's confusing. Up. Yeah, I don't. I don't see. My thing is, I talked to. I How talked to Kess. A, a I, I talked to Kess about this earlier because she explained it, all that stuff. Basically, what happened because right. I just read the the, the caption earlier, and, I, and then she explained everything that happened. She was like, "They just continue with their day and continue to do all the festivities and right. everything while this dead body is in this other room the entire time. Like your whole wow. daughter, your daughter's dead in this other room, and you just out here that's, celebrating and stuff, a wedding. That that's is crazy. crazy. Like, that's insane. I bet that honeymoon was awkward. I'm like, you know like, what type of person you got to be to do that? But that's how they yeah. born. Like they're kind of yeah. It's it's a, that mindset, yeah. Right. So it's like but, when you don't even know nothing. We're not disrespecting, you know, nobody's, you know, nah, police, you know. It's but just, it's just very, you know. But it made me think yeah. of how savage, like, you very. could possibly be in other circumstances, though. Yeah. Because when I, I was talking to her, I was, uh, I was like, 
Think yep. about that. Like you have a yeah. whole dead body here, and they're just carrying on the day. I wouldn't want to like marry nobody happened. but my wife. So I'll be, I'll be damn near dead myself. But my wife just died, or my I feel soon like, to be wife. I wife. feel like they could just go kill somebody right now with a straight face and dump them in another body and be all right. You know, I mean, I mean that's just like yeah. how some people like in wars and stuff they strap bombs to kids. Yeah, and mm-hmm. they just, yeah. you know yep. and sacrifice. So I mean, that's right. just that. Honestly, that just should, should wake up people's eyes who are in freedom countries and certain things mm-hmm. to realize and be thankful. Like yo. You really could have been raised up in North Korea. Big facts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where they only got a select amount of TV shows. You you have to be in the military if a lot you're a of male. Restrictions. Can't oh, be on the internet. Can't be on the internet. You got to everything is literally governed. Mm-hmm. But the crazy thing is maybe if you talk to somebody that was raised in that they might not even know they born in something crazy like that. Yep. And think about you, it cuz that's you all do they do known. a crime, your gen, like your, your whole generation, generation Will uh, be punished for it. Yeah. Like three generations down the line. It's so crazy, you go to jail, man. your children gonna go to jail, your grandchildren the gonna live go to jail, jail, bro. And that's it. I'm that's like, bro, crazy. that's now your family yeah. legacy is jail. Exactly. Yeah. Like it, Whoa, that's man. just the lifestyle that they're they're born into. So it, it was crazy just reading that headline. I'm like, bro. And the bro, the craziest thing about that statement alone is we have people here that have a family lineage of jail time because they chose to do this. Yeah. Like, think about that. Like, there's people that, like, they're just brought up this way. I mean, I know it's like a mentality that they ended up uh, adapting to and having to, you know, feel like that was the only route or whatever. But this is actually an option still at that time. Mm -hmm. So, like, we have, like, three or four generations of people that are just growing up in jail when they don't even – they actually have an option. North Korea, you know, they're punishing these people. They don't even have a choice. choice, yeah. Yeah, that's, bro, that's crazy. Insane, that's because people don't. People honestly, a lot of people like in the hood too. Yeah, they don't even know nothing about. No, they don't know exactly. They're product of their environment, bro. That's mm-hmm. all they know. Like, it's 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 like we always talk about it, but it's like how can we actually make the change happen? Like as black people, right. I feel like we 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 the coolest broke niggas. Yeah, we are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sad I way to put it, but yeah, time, like. We, we the cool bro kids. Yep, we make you know everything pop. Everything like, pops off us. We funny as yep. hell. Mm-hmm. But we hungry as shit. We don't own nothing. Yeah. Uh, yep. You know, we busted. Mm-hmm. But we got the jokes. Bust your ass. Yeah, we, we busted. We make all the entertainment. Bro. Yeah, we cool. Pretty much. But yep. as far as that, I mean, it's like, man, bro, I, I remember the uh, rest in peace chat with Bozeman mm-hmm. when he played mm-hmm. um, James Brown. And it was a part in the movie Excellent where he movie. was he was, jam- he was dancing. I mean, uh, the white guy, the owner or something, they was having a conversation. And um, it was pretty much talking, and uh, the white guy got up and started dancing. And he was like, what is that? What is that? What you doing? He said, see, I don't know how to dance. That's what I pay you for. And then it was just like, I don't know why that hit me so yeah, much. Like, that, like I'm not – I don't have to be the entertainment. I'm, I'm paying you for that. Like, yeah, you're here mm-hmm, to do that. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know how to do the funky chicken or whatever it was he was doing. Um, but, I mean, that just showed me a lot. Like, And it's crazy because today I just seen a clip of Diddy – um, I don't know how new it was or not, but he was just kind of like going off on a tangent on the a truth? little bit. I believe so. The truth post? Yeah, I posted it in my story. Too. Was that you? Yeah. I don't know. I seen it, but it was just like, he was really like, bro, we don't own nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, don't. man, I'm tired. Let's do something. Come <clears> on. If y'all <throat> ready to fight, come on. Let's put something together. And I just looked like, man, hey, until truth. we actually put that you know, foot forward to actually yeah. do it, we're going to forever be in it. We're going to talk shit. We're going to be fighting over Birkin bags when we all really just don't own Nothing. Mm-hmm. That's why I mean. Really. It's really at some point the protests and all that, bro. It really ain't doing nothing for us. The riots. It doesn't do nothing. It doesn't do nothing. Like me. we get, it, we understand the frustration, but we gotta have that structure. We gotta have that power to really to be that scared exactly, for yeah. Derek Chauvin to mm-hmm. be convicted. It's crazy. Yep. Yeah. Like when the whole world yeah saw the murder on camera. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. To be, to still have an idea that this dude possibly could get off, right. to be scared about that—that's mm-hmm. crazy. That that alone just can change your mindset about where we are yep. in this country. Like, and we still gotta wait on the sentencing. So still gotta wait on the he, sentencing. He may mm-hmm. end up getting Tom a lighter trying sentence. To get what time? Like time served and stuff. Yeah, and man, um, I was reading, but I mean, it's it's like yo. Look at look at this. We we really went crazy because he got convicted over something that he didn't. Like, what if nobody recorded? Like, yeah. you know, and it's yeah. like, that's what it is. But people, like Brandon said, they they're tired. That marching and shit. Yeah, I'm cool, bro. That like, shit, they don't <laughs> do nothing. Man. It's time like, to put because the dollar is what. Yeah, we gotta hit them, hit them in the pockets, man. 
Like, it, it's in, support your own, man. Yep. You know Facts. what I'm saying? That's why I'm I'm all about supporting like the black businesses. If I like it, I rock with it. I'm support it. Yep. Pay full price, man, and mm-hmm, repost mm-hmm. it. Do my part. What else? Like that's yeah, just facts. what it is. Cause at the yep. end of the day, you know, we we'll sit up here and uh, shout out to the homie Meech. Uh, he he be talking about this all the time, and you've talked about this a few times too. You made your post about this with the VOD stuff. Like we'll sit up here and and pay full price. We don't ask for Gucci. It's for a discount. We don't ask mm-hmm. them Boy, for Gucci no type in your of face discount. You ever. But when it comes to your own brothers and sisters, they starting up a business, yeah. and it, it, because it's not Gucci or whatever, you be like, oh, it's dope. How much is it? Nah. And you tell them the price. Hey, well, can we get a discount? No. Nah. No. Pay your homie the full price, man. Pay them the full mm-hmm. price like you would exactly. when you get them shoes, when you get them nice bags. Because at the end of the day, yeah, exactly, when man. it comes to supporting your own, bro, and you right. rocking something that somebody that you know, that you grew up with, or you recognize with, or you can right. relate to, mm-hmm. they made it. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? You had that sense of pride. Like, there's nothing wrong with buying Gucci. There's nothing wrong with buying mm-hmm. all the other stuff. If you want to spend your money on that, go ahead. I'm not You still not have me. that same amount in your right. account. But like, at the end Don't of spend the day, all your money on that. Like, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon yeah. said something. No, yeah. true. True. Yeah. That's fact. If you're going to spend $800 on a bill, make sure you at least have 800 still in your account. My dad always told me, don't you know? buy nothing if you can't buy it twice. Facts, bro. I like that. See? Yeah. Facts. And so. I know we, you know, some of us, you know, we young at certain points. You know, we... We don't really believe that, but like, nah, at this age, I'm like, nah. You I'll just tell like, you one thing, yeah. the youth don't have, it's funny because the youth are getting less and less uh, amount of time to get it. Yeah. If mm-hmm. you realize it, like, it just feels like nowadays people are maturing younger and younger. And yeah, they're man. not having as much time to mm-hmm. kind of mess up. Yeah, especially with sense. social media, it, especially it, it speeds with up media. the process. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It did like a tenfold. Cause my little sister and brother, they they shocked me with some stuff. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> like, what are we dealing with here? Who okay. are we talking? I'm like, dang, I ain't have all this, so I ain't know half the stuff y'all know right now. Right, mm-hmm. <laughs> they already light speeds ahead of us. That's yeah, why I, real. That's why I was saying they getting bored. They got know? the technology like, now, bro. Like we were born in between that that, yeah. that time, so we had. <clears throat> The, that retro mix the, with we had, yeah we had the a build good up mix. of it we got a mm-hmm. mix of both worlds mm-hmm. and that's what that's what I say about our our time frame that we were born in it's it's a crazy like the it's best. a dope time it really is because yeah. we got the we best, got we got the best I always say both. the '90s babies we came of like the best era because it's yeah. Yeah. it's like both we experienced in both we were right? outside mm-hmm. water holes all yep. that stuff now it's like you never even see that type of stuff you really don't you man. It's, it's weird. It's different. Yeah. It's different. I'm talking about the best time, bro. Yep. yep. Super nah. soakers in the middle of the coldest. Yep, the man. swag. Yep. Man. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody just vibrant. running around with the iPad and stuff. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. I remember, like, bro, like seeing little kids with an iPad, I'm like. And they, they operating it just fine. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. That I was happy with my little Game Boy Color, though. Boy. Yep. <laughs> with the light, light on up. the, the light on the exactly. side. Exactly, boy. To play hey. at night, bro. I just posted that on my story where people don't understand the struggle boy. of riding in the car, and it got dark. And, and you have to, to have that light to, yep. to be on your screen. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In order hey, to play man. Game Boy Advance. Yep, man. I used to be sitting there Boy. struggling when that light went out. Sometimes <laughs> you got to wait till you pass by a light post. Bro, I was just about to say that. You bit I. Okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah, bro. Slow down. Go real quick. Good. Pause. Yep, <laughs> I was gonna man. wait till I go home. <laughs> well, having them batteries turned off. Mm. The batteries, man, bro. I used the to ask my grandpa pack. for batteries so much. Yep, <laughs> man. Like oh, it's bro. a different time, man. It's a different That's time. Crazy. Period. Uh, did we need to slap the knee time thinking? Are we getting there? Man, yeah, we, we sound old. <laughs> we young, though. I mean, we're right. young. We young old. We we we've been around. I'm yoda. That's what I say. Yo, I'm yo, yo, yo. Well, you're yeah. not. You're no longer in your twenties. So. Oh no, I'm not. That's why I'm yo. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm still, still young, but I'm old. I'm getting this. We still holding on. Yeah. Exactly. I'm still holding on. Oh, for a few more months. Nineties babies don't know. A few, more months. Yeah. A few yeah. more months. I'm a few more months. You got a few more weeks. Hey, it's gonna hit you. You got weeks. I got a few months. I got a few months. Weeks. July we in June. and August, bro. It's not going to be eight weeks. That's, still few. that's a couple, my brother. <laughs> that's, that's eight few. weeks. That's going to go by that's, so that's, If it's eight weeks, bro. that's two months. That's a few months. That's a couple. Like a few is I bet you look four. out the window right there. There's a motherfucker with the age, yo, and they're saying age 30, and they're just staring at you like, yeah. It's, it's coming. Like, <laughs> I mean, I ain't, I'm embracing it. Bro. Oh, it's a blessing. It it's really is. But like, darkness, it don't, my old friend. I'm throwing a party. It don't hit you. So, like, at 12 o'clock, I'm like, bro. I'm throwing a party I'm in October. Thirty, man. Like yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to. LA, we getting man. lit in October. Just, yeah, hey, 
I'm turning up. Technically, like, nobody had like nobody had a celebration this past year due to COVID. So, I feel oh like yeah, I still got at least oh, yeah. one last celebration, huge celebration. Well, yeah, I was fortunate enough to have a nice celebration for my birthday, 29th. Oh, okay. it was a good time, yeah. man. It was it was a great time during COVID. Nobody got COVID. Then? Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all lucky. Mm-hmm. We didn't have a lot of people there though. Oh, well, actually, he said y'all lucky. <laughs> Yeah, I still yeah, would. Like, yeah, that, what, what was it last year? What, was yeah. Last year? Oh, yeah, that was still the shit. Boy. I think everybody was too lit. Yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> Boys were a little too lit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, took it a little bit too far. <laughs> It was it was a great time, man. Shout out to the lit people out yeah, there. You yeah, know who you but, are. Uh, oh, yeah, but yeah, this year, yeah, I mean, you I'm, know who you are specifically. I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely are. trying to turn it up for the you know for the thirtieth, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to turn <laughs> it up for the thirtieth. You feel me? So this person doesn't want to drink around us no more. Oh, yeah. what they did last time? They We're did. talking in subliminals, but okay. I see. Yeah, they did recently. They're taking off they they jacket a little bit. They're getting comfortable. They yeah. getting, they starting to get comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm um, mm-hmm. definitely looking forward to that, man. And hey, look, the way I see it, man, life, we say it all the time. It's so cliche, but we got to say it to let people understand life is short, bro. It so really when is, you man. have that opportunity to celebrate it, when you <clears> have that opportunity to, you know, be yeah. around your loved ones, you got to make the best of it, bro. Because at the end of the day, I think about this, and I don't know if y'all do this, but I can literally be out. I could be out of the club or whatever. I could be chilling. I'm not even drinking. Just chilling. And I'll just take time and be like, I'm glad I woke up today. Thank God I woke yep. up today. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Thank Every God morning. I'm here. Yeah. Thank God I'm, uh, you know what I'm saying? I got here safely. Hopefully, br- uh, yep. bless me for my safe travels. Like, mm-hmm. just stuff like that. Or even if I'm running or whatever I'm doing, I'll just take a moment out of the day to just be thankful I woke up. Yep. Something as simple That's as fair. that. Should you know always be something that people we try to remember, but of course we get busy in our daily life, yeah. and we get on this little autopilot mode Can't where we friends, thinking, man. "Oh, tomorrow I'm gonna be able to fix this. Tomorrow yeah. I'm gonna be able to do this," yeah. and not even realizing you may not get that chance. You yeah, know what right. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We know somebody, we've known people that didn't get that chance to complete something the next day mm-hmm. or do something the next yep. day. So it's one of those things where if you have that opportunity to give it your all and whatever you're doing, even if it's something minuscule is, all right, let me go work out for 30 minutes today because you didn't do it yesterday. Take that. Make that, you know what I'm saying, the, give it the best 30 minutes you've ever done, ever done, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that way, you know what I'm saying, you can, if something was to happen, you can be like, hey, bro, I, I gave it my all on in this particular area. Yeah, I, I, I told someone that I loved them or I let go of that beef. Like, that's what we need to be promoting you know what i'm saying and that's that's very that's very key very powerful and that's prominent because i i try to do and it's crazy because i just talked to someone about this the other day Mm -hmm. that's why i'm trying to like keep do like family things Mm -hmm. um because ever since my grandmother passed away um i feel like the family just don't connect no more Mm -hmm. and I, i have this pride in me where it's like once I reach out to somebody, I don't want to. It's not just pride. It feel like I don't want to bother somebody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like a mixture of pride and like feeling like you bother. I don't want to be a burden. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I don't want to be a burden on somebody else's time <clears throat> to make feel like it. they don't got time for it because everybody not in that mindset that you just said. True. Mm-hmm. Everybody not appreciate like, bro. It's the little things that you don't even think about. Like just the fact that early I was just putting on deodorant, something simple, and I just thought about, damn, we got deodorant. <laughs> like it's like it was yeah. just so small because I'm like, yo, it's people in countries yeah. that don't <laughs> even have fresh water and they they fighting yeah, to man. find their next meal every day. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah. like you know, like we we have AC and stuff mm-hmm. like that. We're not outside mm-hmm. in the, in the heat or in the in the cold and stuff like that. And yeah, that's, that's why bro, I feel even the like, little things, bro. Yeah, like, just it just you can't take for granted. No, nah, you right. can't. That's so. crazy because last week, um. I had lost my, he's like my, he was like a uncle almost. Mm. And he's like a family friend to my uncle. Right. And it's crazy because I think about uh, Indigo Falls back in, it's on South East, it's on the South I East mean, side. Yeah, Indigo, oh, infamous Edinburgh. Indigo Falls. I used mm-hmm. to live there too. So yeah, we was running yeah. around Indigo Falls all the time, me and his son. And he trusted me to like, basically be like his protector basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was right. like, I was like, his, he was like my little brother. We run around Indigo Falls doing random stuff with my big cousins and stuff. 
they be running around doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. We be doing stuff we yeah, shouldn't be doing. Yeah, Indigo Falls. But <laughs> he always knew, yeah. like, I was going to bring him. Uh-huh. He always knew I was going to bring him back. So he, he would be like, all right, yeah, just just take care of Tate. That's all, what he used to tell me every single time. So it's like, it's crazy because I talked to him last month on my stream. And he came through supporting me mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and just coming in to follow and like and, and stuff. And then Monday, I think it was last Monday, and I found I got called with some news about him passing away. He got mm-hmm. found in a the water and I was like oh, what God. like I just talked to him yeah, my condolences bro for yeah, sure yeah. and that, yeah. that's the, that's how quick though man that's, you mm-hmm. know rest in peace to all the people that was gone um, especially short notice and you know not uh, you know just abrupt you know because again life is short big facts let's not yeah. wait until it's too late to Right. You know what I'm saying? Get it together. So always be thankful, bro. That's why I'm always, always being man. thankful, man. Always um, be happy too, man. Always be happy. I know it can be hard. You, can, you gotta man. you gotta be happy. Trust might as me. well be positive. Exactly. Might as well, you know, because it's like there you go. You you might as well smile. Because yeah. you never know who life you might be saving by just exactly, communicating. Exactly, man. Like, smiling. You might yep. save somebody, bro. Like mm-hmm. yeah. you smiled at me today. Like, yo, appreciate right. that. Yep. And this is something my grandma always told me. She said, every time she walked by somebody, she would speak. And I used to ask, like, you know why? Grandma, like, you know, why are you always, uh, I call her Mama, you know, for people mm-hmm. in Louisiana. I was about to say, that's a Louisiana thing. Yeah, yeah, um, Mama. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like, uh, Mama, why are you always, you know, even people don't speak back. Like, you you said, hey, and they don't speak back. She say, you know, it's not about what they do. It's about what you did. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. knew, you know better to speak. When you see people, you speak, you speak no matter what. It doesn't matter if they don't speak or not. Mm-hmm. You did your part. Yep. And that's why now I take that and then, like, I be walking. I be and I know sometimes when I be seeing, like, other dudes, especially black dudes, I don't know if it's, like, a mm-hmm. testosterone, like, a yeah. thing. Well, other black, I be like, hey, what's going on? And it's something, like, sometimes they get caught off guard because yeah. you're speaking. And I'm just like, yo, what's up, bro? And then they're like, Oh, what's good? Like, yeah, yeah. Dude, yo, what's good? I'm so, like, yo, we can ease oh, tension. That first little second, it's you know. You <laughs> said that because I was talking to Kess about that. I was like, hey, I was like, it's it's crazy how black dudes will come up to each other and we'll just have this like, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, uh, like two pit bulls. But then exactly. when I say what's up, it's like he calling out like, what's up, bro? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. they're just like, whoa. And then it's like, oh, I gotta be on guard. Okay, so this yeah. happened to me actually when I was uh, going to get my tire. Like my tire went flat at a shoot. I had just got through shooting this dance video. Actually, I don't know if they. Yet. But um, I was just shooting this dance video and I uh, came outside. My tire was flat. I was like, God damn. Man. And so I um, I was like, I got to find the nearest gas station. So I pull up. I'm on, like, on the side of 288 and near Yellowstone. Not far. I was mm, pretty yeah. close. I got you. And then um, I pulled over and there's this black dude in his Camaro. He was filling up his stuff. And I, uh, when I drove up, he kind of had to like look at that me. Look, look yeah, back. Yeah. He was like trying to do his stuff, like trying to make sure I ain't trying to do nothing. And I was like, hey, what's up, bro? And he was like, Oh, what's up? And then I was like, "Hey, it, it, that machine work." I was like trying to just have a conversation yeah. with yeah. him because I was I had to wait for him and it was kind of yeah. raining out there, mm-hmm. and we were just both trying to get our air and both looked like we didn't want to be out there. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. And so I just had this conversation with him, and he was like, "No, nah, it do it do work." As a matter of fact, I'm about to be done, and he was like, "You know what? Here," and he just gave me the rest of the air, like, <laughs> and, and I filled up my tire with it. I was like, "Hey, you some more for you. You probably, probably made that dude's day." Yeah. It but just, that's the thing, bro. Like, you can ease tension with so Like, exactly. everybody trying yeah. to be hard, bro. Like, you're, mm-hmm. you know, like, yeah. you don't even have to be like that. You really that, don't, man. Take it easy. Like, yeah, right. Take it easy. Man. Take it easy, man. So, yeah, spread man. love. Exactly. Be love. Ooh, we need to put that on the shirt. be that same love. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <I'm back. laughs> You had a uh, topic about, um, it was something else we spoke about. Am I lying? Or am I lying? Mm. Let's do Why everybody doing them? Damn, I'm like that. Oh, well, 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 let's see. Uh, what else know, we talking about? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we do like we hitting them. We hitting them. Oh, up. actually, I have one more. So, okay. Actually, I don't. I don't think we talked about this one. Okay. but I did. Shit on me. Uh, oh, wow, <laughs> I did. You don't want to. <laughs> I did. Uh, <laughs> mi- uh, remember <laughs> to put this down. How would y'all feel about a woman proposing to you? We did. Man, talk I've been seeing that a lot too. For me, because I seen a clip. Can you put your or, hand out. No, no, oh, well, I thought no, no. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm a right size there. 16. But uh, I, I seen a clip where uh, do your thing. Uh, it was like a, I don't know if it was a snippet <laughs> or video, <laughs> but basically, was it a lady pregnant? I don't know. If she was oh, pregnant. Yeah, I don't but know. If she's pregnant. She she was on one knee, and then you had some people in the background, you know, with the marriage sign yeah, and proposing right. to the Man, dude. And there was a lot of women in the comment. I couldn't. 
<laughs> so you gonna have to like be that. on your knee. Like so, I could. So me yeah, personally, I'm, I'm I'm I like breaking traditions a lot, mm-hmm. but that tradition I don't. I don't mean. think I could. I don't yeah. think I could do that one. I'd feel weird. I'm old, one for me. I'm, I'm old school in that yeah. in that yeah, uh, aspect. Same. Same. Yeah, that's that's something you know. what I'm saying I mm-hmm. want to be able to practice that. Cause if I reject her, I'm the bad guy. Cause the other way around, y'all going like, y'all ain't gonna put the blame on them. So I feel like all the women they gonna come after me. I'm like, hey, y'all don't like. My wife so, said I didn't get on one knee. I think I did the Gucci man to you, didn't I? I just stood there. What was the Gucci? Just stood up. Oh, up. baby, let's get married. We might as well do this. Meet me at the altars. Meet me at the altar in your white dress. <laughs> And you did. We ain't getting no younger. We might as well do it. And we wasn't. <laughs> Look, That's and we exactly. Wasn't. Yep. <laughs> Let's <laughs> get married. She trying to, to let me know. <laughs> but you married though, right? Mm. And happy. Eight years later. Look at that. Look at that. Show the show, show the glacier. But see the point is that I'm trying to make. Okay. You know, <laughs> if I was really being interrupted by that, I couldn't. The man. weird facts. I, I, uh, if I were to get on one knee and mm. literally let my knee touch the ground, um, I yeah, I, I I actually would have to do it. I would have yeah. to do it. I wouldn't accept it if it I'm was not gonna weird. lie. I feel I feel. I probably like, hold on, hold on. Let me fix this. Uh, give me that. Give me yeah. that. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Talk about this. Hey, why the hell you put the damn <laughs> sign? No, here, okay. Here's my here's my Give question. Me that. Here we go. What right. made of what made the woman want to do that? She was tired of that nigga waiting. That's maybe mm-hmm. what it is. She said, "I'm that's, impatient." That's not the way to do it. What did it, I say? Right? <laughs> women. This is what Kevin Samuels said. Uh, women control uh, birth, child coming into the world, and men control marriage. True. I like that. True, this, that's yeah. how it should be. I don't think yeah. there's nothing we can deny so, Kevin I mean, Samuels. I think that is true. Yeah. I'm about to say, yeah, that's, a, that's I think a, if that's a woman, one I can't argue with. If a woman wants or does not yeah. want a child, she has the choice, ultimately. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she has the choice and though. if a man wants to or not to get married to you, he that's, has that that's choice. usually on his, his end. Now, don't get on your knee. Don't care if you get – but that's so, the thing. I think that's the thing people don't realize. If you get, in your, get on your knee or not – the other person has to want to get yeah, married. Yeah. Exactly. And if it's usually the guy, that mean is usually the reason why he not. He probably, it's something going on, but mm-hmm. men usually know what they're doing. They know yeah. who they right. want to marry, mm-hmm. and they know who they don't want to marry. Mm-hmm. So if you've been with somebody yeah. for 16 years and you ain't married, yeah, it, it you're not yeah. probably getting married to that person. Yeah. Because you you can, it's one of those, it takes time to get to yeah. know that person. Now and stuff like that. Long, some long ones. Oh, I got, I got, oh, I know some long I have a couple family members that's yeah, actually we all got like uncles. 20 years. Yeah. They like, I got, let's finally do it. I got yeah. uncles and aunties that I thought was married. Same. Yeah. I was like, oh, Same. what? What do you mean? What's the way? What? What I was is like, this? Huh? I mean, but all they want is babies. They don't give a damn about you. On Sherry, on Sherry 63, what, what you mean? Like, Bro. It's in June, baby. You going to be there, okay? Like, uh, But then that's <laughs> when we, we teach the kids that. So it's not just about the marriage. It's just yeah. about like, yo, if this man want to be with you, he needs to step up to the plate mm, to yeah, want to exactly. put you to get like yeah. he he playing. You playing house. That's what yeah. they mm-hmm. always tell me. Ooh, like, stop playing house. house. I personally that, feel like, Ooh. and then they hit you with that little friend. Your, your little friend over there. Yeah, they call friend. him your little friend. <laughs> it's always <laughs> a little friend. slug. A little slug. A little friend. Why ain't you waving at your little friend today? Yeah, but nah, people, you here, a lot like, of people, you know, I just, I don't know. Like, yeah, that playing house. Yeah, because no my thing is, if you, if obviously, you know, you, you're waiting, you're tired of waiting, that's a red flag right there. So you, you're marrying into something very uncertain. Like, this mm-hmm. man probably would say, like, yeah, just because you got a crowd of people around, yep. you don't want to make the situation worse. Like, then that's a very, down. that's, that's, uh, that's, that's a bad thing to do, ladies. Like, it's vice just, versa, too. It, like, this would work for your situation, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Religiously, I feel like you should get married first. But you know, just right. ultimately, I honestly feel like it just it just depends on you. I don't really sit there and I don't get mad at people. Yeah, like I don't. I'm not one of those people that be like, "Ah, oh, you need to. You better. You like. I don't. I don't do all that. Like, <laughs> I can, if you ask, don't ask me though. Like that's my thing. Don't, don't ask me my yeah. opinion. Don't ask me my opinion to get mad at it. Like yeah. I do feel like you should be married before you move in and all that. But that's my opinion. You don't have to do that. Like, um, shit. I had sex before I got married. So I did too, and I, I mean, moved in with my girl way before I was even close to so, engaged. It's, it's just one of them yeah. things yeah. where it's like it depends on you. You what can't walk around you? with mm-hmm. a stick in your hand just pointing at people. But you yeah. know, I, even though I was doing wrong, I still had like, damn, I felt I felt something about it, you mm-hmm. know. And then I was like, man, I got to make this right, and yeah. um, that's what I did. But I mean, hey, everybody has a boat, and you can float it however you want. Mm. And so at the end of the day, float the boat. Yeah. You know, the the only reason why I said the playing house thing is because a lot of women always wonder why. Oh. Uh, 
this dude ain't trying to commit. Da, 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 da. It's like, but you give him those qualities of the wife without him giving Having you wife. To. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the only thing about it because most women want to be married. So it's like if you want, if you know you want to be married, then you gotta put these dudes. Cause before we end, we let's give the women some game. We ain't Steve Harvey here, but we just gonna give a little piece. No, of game. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Cause I ain't gonna do that to the mm-hmm. folks. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Like, like that. what we don't realize is Facts. a lot of men would change if women pressured them to. You know yeah. that. Because we do things for women. Mm-hmm. Women mm-hmm. do things for women. <laughs> Fact. So it's yeah. like at the end of the day, you know, we always, like, women are like, oh, man, why a man ain't this, da, 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 da. Well, what do you present yourself as? Because mm-hmm. that'll, because, like, be honest. A girl that's, let's just be honest. Is this a safe place? No safe. So oh, y'all safe. about to talk to a girl. Well, hold on, we got one. For the single fellas. Safe is good? Is okay. it safe is good? All right. So She's if y'all, if y'all about to talk to a, a chick, Mm-hmm. Okay, and and we know all women are equal and all this and all that. But let's just be real: a bottle girl versus like a lawyer chick. Will your game be different? How you approach them? Very, yeah, most likely. Ten lawyer got that power. Yeah. Well, why? Mm-hmm. Because of the setting. You know, I take what it back. See. Not even take that. Sometimes it it, it kind of depends on the way. Also, the way the woman uh, speaks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. So, cause, cause sometimes she can be a bottle girl, and then she'll hit me with some, with you know, with a different type of slang that I don't expect. Like, let's say I'm expecting yeah. like some hood, blah blah blah. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. All so I'm, I'm like, doing boom, to pay my, uh, to pay my I'm gonna hit her with a different, yeah. you know, a different yeah. approach. Right. But if if she hits me with something like she sounds like a lawyer, like she's actually an intelligent. Yeah. Yeah, uh, she's female, just making, I might come making at ends her, meet. That's know. what be throwing I'll me off, I'll come at her man. a little bit like, more, you know, respectfully. Or but see, I'm not out, even going to say respectfully. Shout out to the bottle girls. I come respectfully yeah. regardless. Because I'm not just saying that just to so you know, do it. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, just, right. I'm just saying, like. No bottle for him. A lot of. Okay, but I mean, let's because I ain't want to go with the obvious. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, yeah. uh, a woman on Instagram that's showing her ass all day versus yeah. one who mm-hmm. usually got clothes on. Like, that's. Yeah, you're going to respond different. You're going to respond different because it's like, ah, like, I'm seeing you. You look like you want the attention because you dressing mm-hmm. like this. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna hit you up on some mm, yeah. versus this other chick who looks like she handles herself well. She's traveling, she eating at good spots. I'm gonna come at her like this because she don't look like she yeah. takes anybody. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Also, so hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? How your day going? Blah 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 blah. Something that like that. that'll that'll. I'm telling you how you carry yourself, and I know that was gonna be the last one, but this one has to be the last one. <laughs> Crazy, the hair bonnets. Ah, mm, <laughs> yeah. what are y'all opinion? Ah. Okay, on the bonnet. I think that's a nice segue because we're talking about women, but women, I gave you game, but yeah. So hair bonnets. Would you like it? So how do y'all feel? Do y'all think Monique is right? Is she, she do you to feel a like, certain extent? I would oh, what she say? say I, don't, yes. I don't know. So. Oh well, apparently not oh. wearing hair bonnets and do rags out in public. Basically. Yeah, basically. Oh, I pretty much. I, she was she in said, a black women. We need to stop. Uh, we need to. She was uh, in a in a in the. Yeah, she, I'm wearing house shoes. She was in the airport and she literally saw a flock of the sisters. You know, they had just a hair bonnet and pajamas. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. She's basically saying, I like that. Match your type. Uh, see? That's what she's saying. Yeah. And it made sense. Right. Like it made sense. I'm a woman and I feel like it. There you go. So yeah, but we women don't come at us. You got the queen over here. She green. So, but we were just talking about that, yeah. Though. And the same with us, us dudes. Like, look, me, I'm not about to walk around Bags. in Walmart with a do rag and a muscle shirt and pajamas on. Like, do rag. Hell no. Nah. Like, so that's a, that's I like. Would, see me. I've never been a do rag walk. Like, yeah. Person. I've never like even when I had my waves. Like now I'm, I'm more of a body. Right. Mm-hmm. When I had my waves, I wasn't walking around with a do rag because I was taught not to bring it outside. Yeah. So right. Like. It, it's different when I seen it. It was weird to me at first, but then I just got used to it because it was like yeah. now it's a fashion yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 fashion, a, yeah okay, yeah. yeah. That so, part. I don't think bonnets yeah. were ever fashion though. Bonnet has never. No bonnets. What's bonnet the other thing? Like, well, uh, well, well, there, there actually is like bonnet lines now that have like they, they purposely make them for you to wear. It still don't look good. Which I don't, I don't think you should. Yeah, I like, don't think you should wear. <laughs> it just look like a shower. No, cap. no, no, like, no. It's a bonnet. Shower cap, bonnet, design type. Like their what style. What is the other? I don't think they should be wearing them out, but I like they just have different styles of them. I'm just saying maybe. 
Yeah. I don't know exactly that's what, what, I, it's, that's what, it's, what I, it's, <laughs> it's for home, exactly. But there's another, man, I don't know what exactly it's called. It's like a, it's like a, man, it's like a rap or something. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. They have those too. Yes. The, the, I like, it, it, I thank you. Thank you. I, I like those. Those in public. Oh, yeah. That's, that's. That look, you know, that looks nice compared to like yeah. shower cap. Yeah, because a lot of times that those girls are certain. Yeah, they go with certain outfits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially yeah, when the do. females got the little straight hair coming down. To, but, and that's uh, a lot of topic. But anyway, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, that, that's one of my weaknesses. Yeah, it did. Yeah, that's the just edge boy. control is his yeah. weakness. Man, bro, like, like, something about that edge. Yeah, something about it, man. I don't look cocoa butter smell. But anyway, so rampant. But I'm good. I'm sicko a, mode. He started getting the detail no, with it. Nah, I ain't sicko mode. mode. It's the curls. It's the curls. Yeah. Yeah. No, but uh, all the thoughts. <laughs> I mean, dirty I just like those compared. And like, I understand what Monique was saying. But of course, them, you had the females. Moves. They just bashed. I'm like, I'm come on now. Look, and here's another thing. <laughs> this might ruffle some feathers, but take us to the next level, Brandon. A lot of the sisters, you know, y'all consider yourself the more dominant when it comes to, you know. The women, you know, mm. the black queen and stuff. Mm. Okay, mm. act like that then. Like, mm. don't fully just act like you just so low standard, like twenty four seven. Like, yeah, you still consider yourself a queen. Like, that just don't make no sense. You saying be that queen that you speak exactly. Of. Like, I've come from Walmart. You come from H E B. We've seen. Hey, we ain't got. We ain't we've got seen. To put our oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But we've seen the characters. You know, we've see, seen a lot see, of I'm, stuff. I'm gonna I'm a play slightly devil's advocate and say. Please do come as you are, and, and so some females that some too. females believe that. Yeah. So they be like, I'm gonna dress how I want. Nah, dress not I too extreme. I'm like, come on, not not all the time. Cause I agree. You know, I'm I'm big on there's a time and a place for everything. Yeah, exactly. I agree. Yeah. So yeah. It's just, It happened at Madison. Yeah. And they they bash the principal. I'm like, you got this black. Yeah, you got this black principal that's it's out of everybody. Trash. She's going to do her part to try to just, you know, somewhat uplift, you know, the standards community. Yeah. Hey, you know what's crazy? Like, why are you coming and up like that? they bashed her for that. You know what's crazy? I never can remember my mom and dad just mm -mm. looking yeah. like. Bro, some of these parents do not care. I don't see parents talking about when we went, out. Yes. I'm talking about uh, <laughs> open house. Everybody was on point. Creased. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. My, dad, my dad get the crease to this day, and I'll be like, Dad, you know you ain't got a crease at that all. Man, my uncle have a crease yeah, so much, he stand them pants up. You know, yeah, yeah boy. Stand up pants. And by themselves, <laughs> like a human, visible man. Bro, I don't like, just hop in them, bro. You can but jump now, straight in them. You don't even got to sit down, nothing like that, man. Even <laughs> think, though, like the sweat, like tucking in your shirt was a big thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's just, I don't know. I, I'm, yep. I'm just, you know, I just feel like. How you present yourself? You can't Definitely. tell me a nigga having his pants halfway off his ass is exactly what yeah, you're supposed to. Nah, so, I like that shit. So yep. when you get that dude, it's a lot that comes with a nigga that want, that really thinks his whole ass should be out <laughs> in public. Like that's just ridiculous. just oh, think yeah. about that. Like yeah. that's like y'all talking to a girl with a with the the the, the prince pants with the ass out and mm -hmm. she just walking and you just <laughs> like yo, I want that to be my wife. Like you know nobody want... in here is gonna be like, I want to wife her. Nope. You, you only think about other things. doing I one. Want, I'm like, don't, sure. like, don't be a menace. Now, that's a lady. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, that's all you're thinking he about. Said, nah, 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 dub. I want a wife. Bro. I want a wife. Bro. Yeah, that's crazy. With the ass you really, Nah, you're yeah, not going to think like that. So, <laughs> women, when you're looking at dude, game again. Mm -hmm. You're looking for these dudes and stuff like that. You know they background. Stop yep. trying to make a. And then they know, be trying to change them. No. Uh, you can't change Same way dudes be trying to change the females. Be 30 and four kids later. And, like, you know what? I knew I, I messed go, up. I need to go find a good man. Nah. Now you got a hard time. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's Kevin Samuel all over again. Trust about me. to smack you right uh, in the exactly. face. That's one. why I, hey, man, hey, I agree with a lot of stuff Kevin Samuel be saying. He, like, he be spitting. Exactly. He, he spit some time. He spit. And I agree with what Monique is saying. So it ain't had nothing to do with uh, being sexist or whatnot, bro. No matter who you are, if you saying some logic shit. You know, I'm gonna agree with it. So. Big facts. Big facts. facts. Oh, we love that, man. Hey, all we do, honestly, at the end of the day, we promote positivity. We just feel like, you exactly. know, um, be, be very presentable, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, you have your representation and your word in this lifestyle, in this life. And so you wanna make sure that you're presented well. Mm -hmm. You know, when you when your kids are, are you know, when you somebody see your kids, you want them to be like, oh, that's such and such child. Mm -hmm. That's such and such mama. Because you know what? We all gonna make sure we yeah. clean. We all gonna be on point. And it's not for other people, it's just for ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, I want my children to carry themselves well, mm -hmm. and it's something that we want to teach them, but it's not only something you teach, it's something you do. 
because right. they going to learn from your actions. So yep. we Facts. just, just want to, you know, raise respectable uh, young men and women. And that's, you know, that should be the basis to a lot of people. Right. Um, but, yeah, this was a dope episode, man. Yes, uh, sir. I really vibe with it. Yeah. Um, if y'all vibe with it, man, make sure y'all are sharing and uh, downloading the pod, man, wherever facts. you are, however you listening, however you watching. Mm-hmm. Uh, support. You know what I'm saying? Support Big the facts. people. Right. I'm saying support. Support. <clears throat> support. Support. Shaboy. Shaboy. I like that. You got to support. Support. Shaboy. 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 We, need a, we need a title, though, <laughs> for the pod. Shaboy. Like, it was a standout uh, moment. We're going to think of that. But yeah, yeah, be a queen. Yeah, queen. Be a queen. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Counterfeit queens. Appreciate it. <laughs> <you. laughs> nah, don't do Don't say that. <laughs> nah, that. <laughs> it, uh, you know, that'll get the lights. Yeah. Counterfeit queen. Oh, okay. Counterfeit queen. Hey. Yeah, we need to let you name them all. Hey. Like we I say, counterfeit queen. We're going to get 10 <laughs> dislikes before we whole, even start. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Dislike. Well, right. damn, you ain't even see them. That's a whole album title. But you just... But now, uh, we love y'all, man. Hope y'all taking it easy. Remember, spread love, continue to be loved. This is the ITC Podcast. You feel me? And we out. Peace. 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 Peace.